inspire us to go out and do great things and then welcome us back isn't it a very warm welcome to our show beautiful home series and this time we are meeting mr suhel mathur who is the youngest debutant author to write historical fiction he has achieved many awards and he is one of the top 51 indian authors to follow by ebooks india so let's meet him Hi, Hi Natasha. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Good. A very warm welcome to our show, Beautiful Home Series. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me Thank on you. this show. Really looking forward. Please, please have a seat. You have such a beautiful house. In fact, I love the statues and everything and I have so many questions. Uh, inside me. When did you buy this house? Firstly, thank you so much for praising the house. Really means a lot. I think everyone builds and uh, constructs a house with a lot of love, affection, and uh, for this very reaction that you're giving. So I think uh, somewhere down the line, we have been somewhat successful in that endeavor of ours. As far as uh, your question being, when did I, when did we buy this house? So I think we moved in uh, to this place in 1994. So way back in 94, yeah. So it's been more than 20 years. And I was in the prep standard then. So I was a young boy of four. And uh, when I moved in here. So yes, a lot of memories attached to this place. I'm sure. So in fact, I would like to then meet your parents. They have been the architects really of this entire construction and it's their brainchild. They would really be, uh, you know, the right people to talk about it. So Natasha, they're my parents. That's my mother, uh, Kitty Mathur. Kitty Mathur, welcome. Hi. And that's my uh, father, Hi, Mr. Sanjeev Sanjeev. Mathur. So as we were discussing, you know, yes. uh, you were asking about the house and I yeah. said that they'd be the right people to talk more about it. Right. So yeah, uh, please. So you have please. such a beautiful house. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, so I would like to know, when did you buy this house? We didn't buy this house, we bought a plot okay. way back in 91 oh. and we started constructing on it and uh, we finally moved in in 94. Then 13 years later, we, we renovated the place. So this is 2007. Oh, okay. So 2007 to 2008 almost, 18 months. 18 months. Yeah, yeah, you know, we were renovating the place. Okay. So who decorated it? I needed a cozy house. Yeah. Uh, where I had artifacts, so we had been buying, uh, you know, for a number of years. Oh, okay. In fact, this piece here that we have, Ganesha. Yeah. This is a single, you know, uh, this thing, you know, wood piece. This was lying packed for almost one and a half years when we were constructing this house. We made uh, this drawing room around it, kind of things, right? Because we knew we had to place the Ganesh tree there. Okay. And from where uh, you have collected all oh, these? From various artifacts. places. Various <laughs> places. From memoriams, from exhibitions. All right. Uh, actually, uh, India being such a culturally diverse uh, country, you can find a lot of artifacts, you know, and paintings and statues, which would definitely enhance the beauty of your house. So, Suhail, um, take me to your favorite corner of this house. Oh, it's going to be a difficult ask uh, since, you know, uh, all the places are so close to my heart and really my favorite. But uh, now that you've asked, I'll definitely take you to a couple of places, you know, where I do like to sit and do a lot of my creative work. So yeah, let's let's uh, go over there and I'll show you uh, the rooms and also, you know, the history behind uh, writing the book and the rooms yes. especially. So I would like to know that too. Sure, <laughs> of course, please, please come. So I think Natasha, he can show you the place now. Yeah. Sure. Great meeting you. Same here. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much, Mr. Nadar. Please bring the picture. I'll take you to the first room over here. Please, please, please come. Thank please you come. so much. Yeah. And Thank so you so many much. books I can see over here. So Suhel, explain me about your book. This is your book, right? The Bhairav Putras. Interesting, isn't it? So why don't you just explain me about this? Uh, so the idea came about, you know, uh, on, a, on a lighter note, I always keep on telling people that, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, people from IIM and IITs writing books and I, of course, am from the National Law University at Delhi and the NLUs are supposed to be equivalent to the IITs and IIMs. So I used to say that, you know, if the IITs and people from IIMs can write, why can't people from uh, National Law Universities? So yeah, that, that always got some people, uh, you know, it acted as a ripticler, but uh, yeah. See, the point is that uh, to write a good book, you don't need to be from any university. You need to have the talent to write the book or you need to have the inclination to write a book. Uh, when I wanted to write this book, I wanted, I wanted the title to relate to a dark god, 
सो समथिंग रिलेटेड टू काली समथिंग रिलेटेड टू लॉर्ड भैरव वाई आई अल्टीमेटली सेटल्ड ऑन लॉर्ड भैरव वॉज बिकॉज आई ऑल्सो वर्शिप लॉर्ड भैरव चाइल्ड फॉर्म विच इज बटुक भैरव इज अ क्यूट किड यू टेल मी अबाउट योर इंस्पिरेशन वेर डू यू राइट एंड वॉट इज वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द इंस्पिरेशन इन दिस लवली रूम so you know for any artist or anyone uh, pursuing any creative medium i think what is very important is that you have your own comfort zone because uh, till such time that you don't have a comfort zone uh, that ease with which you work on be it you know writing or singing or directing that that won't show of course direction is uh, location oriented so besides that so you know the basic point being that uh, the location has to be very important we generally like to work uh, you know when the whole world sleeps so that would be at night and uh, because that gives us the peace and the tranquility is there you know and that gives us a vent for our imagination and thoughts you know and we can we can definitely work on those things much more freely because you know you're not going to get interrupted very often and that also increases uh, the pace at which you are writing it's very important that the foundations you know are very correct so and and these have been my foundations we we uh, you know my parents are like my friends so i discuss each and everything uh, that happens in my life with them so if if you are living in that kind of an environment you know you would want to pursue uh, your creative talents and my i have been lucky that my parents have also wholeheartedly supported me in this endeavor what i would also like to uh, show you is the other side of my creativity because uh, this is this is where you know the thoughts come but the writing takes place in my room and of course i told you that there are a lot of books over there as well so i'll take you to uh, that room and i'll show you my uh, collection and also where i write so we could we could go and i'll, I'll yeah, take you there sure. <laughs> my room wow yes. yeah Lovely. it's a nice cozy place um uh, yes and this is where i write uh, a lot of people would think that i write over there but i lie down on the bed and write the mini library that i was telling you about a lot of indian fiction um you know of course catching my attention here you know. yes yes so absolutely many books here. yeah so uh, there's also this book the myriad tales uh, which was an anthology of 32 stories so i compiled and edited this and it had uh, you know stories from three genres which was uh, horror comedy and thrillers so a lot of uh, uh, you know prominent authors wrote for this book and uh, yes uh, it's it's done really well in fact we're working on another anthology which is going to be the biggest anthology that's ever been seen in the indian market it's called tentatively called india and um, you know it's going to have 37 stories it's uh, culmination of the 29 states and the UTs and NC and the NCR and every writer is going to pick up one place and they're going to center their story around it so we've got uh, the likes of Mr Pius Jha Anand Nilkanthan Mukul Deva you know Krishna Uday Shankar Subhadra Sen Gupta Mr Anjum Rajabali he's done the screenplay for Legend of Bhagat Singh Rajneeti so all these people are there and the best part is that the money from the sales goes to uh, five people whom we have or I have a uh, hand picked uh, right and these people are really unsung heroes or uh, people you know to whom justice wasn't meted out so it is a humble effort uh, you know to basically ensure that the book does well which is why i got uh, i'm also writing in this book and we have 37 writers who at least have one best seller to the credit so a lot of people buy the book that was the intention because the more the people buy the more will be the royalty and our endeavor to help those five people you know will get fulfilled so that includes people like uh, this athlete from haryana a gold medal winning athlete you know who now works as a domestic help or uh, you know there was this gentleman from west bengal and there was this act- uh, criminal gang you know that used to actually gang rape women and he fought against that and ultimately he was uh, shot down by these uh, you know people but uh, today his uh, sister carries on an ngo in his name so you know there are such kind of people and we want to make a difference we want these people to be known because they are heroes and they've had their share of struggle so uh, you know the best way literature can be used uh, for better gains and uh, to make people actually know how the indian fabric is so strong uh, so that's that's the basic intention and yes we hope that it'll hopefully do well not for our sake but for theirs So Suhel, at such a young age, you're writing, you are compiling, and you 
have your own company called the Book Bakers. Thank, Thank you. you for being in our show. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, it really means a lot. The pleasure is all mine, Natasha. You've done a brilliant job, and it was Thank absolutely you. wonderful interacting with you. And look forward to a lot more yes. interactions and interesting conversations in the future as well. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sure you all have got inspired by Sohel, who has written such a great book, The Bhairav Putras, which is the best-selling book. At such a young age, he has achieved many awards. He's been one of the top 51 young debutant authors to follow by eBooks India. So keep watching Prop Guide's beautiful home series with me, Natasha, signing off.